Are your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. After weeks on end of playing outside and staying up late, for many kids in the Wenatchee School District, it was time to say goodbye to summer and go back to school on Wednesday. The folks at the WSD invited iFiber One News to share in the excitement with students, teachers, and staff on this first day back, so we dropped by Mission View Elementary for a quick look around, and that's where we found Mrs. Brown's third grade classroom buzzing with glee over the chance to once again learn something new this year. I'm so proud because I'm back to school. I can learn new things. I like PE, music, math, and lunch. All right, Angel, you're in third grade now. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah? What are you excited most for? Learning. What are you most excited about? Um, doing fun things in our class with the teacher, coloring, doing homework. What are you most excited about? Learning. Because it's kind of fun and because you can learn, like, subtraction and, um, like double digit numbers. Double digit numbers? How high up have you gotten with double digit numbers? I only know to 100. Of course, learning isn't the only reason these youngsters imparted to our cameras about why they were so eager to get back to school. You're excited? Yeah. I can tell. Why are you excited? Because I, I get to be with my friends. You get to be with your friends? You got lots of friends here at Mission View? Yes. Yeah? How many friends? 2,000 2, friends here at Mission View. Wow, that's a lot for sure. What are you excited most for? To spend time with my friends and to learn. Is Daisy one of your friends? Absolutely. She has 2,000 friends here, you know. <laughs> and among the many students we found who have been champing at the bit to enrich their minds with knowledge and spend time with their friends again, we also found at least one bright overachiever who's already looking forward to next year on just the first day of this one. What are you most excited about doing this year? Like learning a whole bunch. Learning? Learning more stuff so that I'm smarter in, second, or in fourth grade. Ow. Already looking forward to fourth grade, huh? The kids at Mission View Elementary all learn a variety of subjects, from science and reading to language arts and phys ed. But when we inquired about their favorite area of study, well, let's just say I was probably as shocked as you might be. Mm, math. 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 Let me do math. 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 Doing like math and problems and stuff. Okay, they all like math, but hey, this old scribbler did manage to find at least one artist in the bunch, so it looks like the world of financial planning and tax preparation won't be getting all of them after graduation. You got a favorite subject? Um, art. Arts? Okay, so what do you like to do? Paint? Draw? Um, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. I like to paint. You like to paint? What do you like to paint? As for what to do upon growing up, these eight and nine-year-olds have a few good ideas right now, including our young artist, who also wants to spend as much time healing sick animals as she does painting them. Is that what you want to do when you grow up, be an artist? Yeah. Okay. And a vet. And a vet. An artistic vet. A doctor. Maybe a firefighter. Yes, it appears in about another decade or so, the world will have plenty of burgeoning doctors, firefighters, and artistic veterinarians to go around. However, one potential occupation definitely stood out when we asked these students about growing up, and based on their answers, it seems many of them think they will always possess the desire to head back to school each fall. A teacher. Be a teacher. A teacher. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a teacher. I want Sarah Brown has been an elementary educator in the Wenatchee School District for 12 years and has spent all of them at Mission View, where it's obvious she's making a big impression on this year's class of third graders already. Brown says the key to a successful first day of class is the same as it is for every day of class. Planning. <laughs> you have to plan. You have to be um, overly planned, overly prepared, otherwise the kids kind of go crazy on you. Brown told us the secret to reaching kids and getting them to like and engage in school is all about taking the time to get to know each student as an individual, as well as part of an entire classroom. I think just that relationship you have to have with the kids. So you have to um, get to know them personally, sit down and have a lot of conversations with the kids to, to help them to know that this is a safe place for them and it's a safe haven for them. 
And we would be remiss if we didn't at least ask Mrs. Brown about heading back to class with that healthy pay increase her union just secured for her as well. You're going back to work with that 11, 12 percent raise too. That has to feel good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Reporting for iFiber One News, I'm Chris Hansen.